Welcome to the Highwind Motion Controller tutorial series. In this video, I will introduce you to the controller's functions and applications. The main feature is controlling up to 16 synchronizing slaves. It could be Highwind servo motor or I.O. devices. In addition, it can perform multi-axis interpolation and dynamic error compensation. Highwind utilizes Mega U-Link protocol. It is Ethercat based for real-time distributed control. Hence it can synchronize slave control to enable coordinated motions. The network update period is 250 microseconds to 1 millisecond. Let's look at the topology. The user can control the HIMC via an Ethernet cable at the upper layer. Then the HIMC can perform real-time motion control on the axes. In the example, the HIMC controls the XYZ stage and board conveyor to do multiple ROI in one command. The multi-axis interpolated motion can be linear or circular. Therefore, it is suitable for applications such as AOI, laser cutting, CNC, etc. On the other hand, it can command the drivers to provide position trigger signals to the camera system for on-the-fly image capturing. This is very important especially in wafer inspection. The non-stopping scanning with constant velocity provides high quality and consistent inspection for the components. Next, we look at communication. Users can use the API to call the function to customize software or interface in C, C++, or C Sharp. Besides, the callback function will return a non-zero value if the command has failed. User can create own API to simplify the logic in HMPL which is the programming language in HIMC. ASCII command is also available for the upper controller. It can be divided into controller ASCII command and user-defined ASCII command. There is a Modbus TCP protocol as well. Okay, let me show you how to download the EA Studio software. The link is in the description below. Please install the software. Then we will do the software simulation in the following tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you next time.